Welcome back to uh, Cork It With Kyle. This is episode 8. Um, yeah, man, episode 8. Wow. So, yeah, as you can see, we're in a brown estate Napa Valley hat. Uh, this is the first and only black owned winery in Napa Valley. Uh, their tasting room is in in uh, downtown Napa. Uh, so, you know, the point of this episode is just to highlight what a lot of people have been advocating for uh, in in the in the unfortunate death of George Floyd, which is equality, justice, and also the support of black businesses. So. Did my part, donated, signed petitions, um, and also supported Brown Estate by buying the 2017 Mickey's Block Zinfandel uh, and bought a hat. This was $55. So steep, but uh, they're really known for the Zinfandel, uh, one of the best in the regions. Apparently, so wanted to get this. Shout out to Susan from Brown. Uh, she helped me decide on this one. Uh, so excited to try it out. But yeah, man, this is how I wanted to uh, show my support. And yeah, the title for this episode is Black Lives Matter because uh, they do. And so, in addition to supporting them, had to get a had to get a, some soul food in for the meal. Although Zippendale is is recommended to go with, uh, I was reading uh, Arabic, Turkish, and Moroccan cuisine. Um, and you ideally says that you want to get a bottle for around fifteen dollars. Um, and uh, they're really known for jammy fruit. And really big in uh, Italy, Puglia is known as Primitivo there, and also in in California. Those are two big places. But it originated in Croatia. Um, so yeah, this this is I believe this is the this is not the first of Medal I, I bought. I have one, but this is the first one that I'm going to be opening that I bought. Had a Sado, really good. Um, but yeah, man. Got this soul food, got this wine. So let's get into it, man. Um, crazy year, first of all. This year is crazy. Like, I remember uh, New Year's Eve, like, super looking forward to this year. Like, I mean, it's been a good year despite the pandemic and the police brutality, but didn't see this coming. Like, didn't see all this happening. I'm always. Pu Optimistic and positive, but yeah, like after Kobe died, just pretty much like every month, I'm like, wow, it's just, it's just been getting worse. Like Kobe died, Panthers released Cam Newton, the pandemic, classes got put online, but thankfully graduated. This was a big positive moment for me and my family, but um, then. The, uh, the shooting of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and then now the shooting in Atlanta. Unfortunately, you know, uh, and so just a lot of emotional and mental baggage that that puts on on me when that happens. It's just like because. It always hurt me, um, but it really hit home when I saw the video of him on And it's like I, I don't, I don't actively try to watch the video or videos or seek negative news. It's just, just everywhere you look, it's there, right? Like even on broken up social media like Reddit, you end up running into the the uh, negative information, and and so. That really hit home to me because I'm a runner, 
and I live 0.8 miles from a greenway, and I just couldn't imagine like running, listening to music, and then you know someone mistaking me for a robbery, someone in public taking into their own hands to enforce the law, even if I did look suspicious, not your right to do that. And so it's just very, it's very surreal because every time it happens, I just think like, what about me? And that's the crazy thing is like, you see people that are your friends and like everyone can have their own opinion, right? Like everyone can have, they're, they're entitled to their opinion. But when people say like all lives matter, they're kind of neglecting, neglecting what is the current initiative, right? Like no one's saying all lives don't matter or Hispanic lives don't matter or or white lives don't matter, or any other demographic. Life doesn't matter. We're just focusing on this one issue. And so the crazy thing is, like, I think, like, oh, like, would my friends or people who have those opinions, what would they do if, if I got shot by the police and it was video evidence and I wasn't doing anything wrong? Like, would they just say, oh, all lives matter, neglect the point? And that's the crazy thing. It's like, I saw a comedian talking about this also Chris Rock said this like you know you can't have bad apples right like you can't have bad police some some uh, professions everyone has to be good uh, like, you don't want bad pilots or bad surgeons right like, you can have a bad you know cashier oh you lost five cent right Woo, you know or you can have Pretty much, I mean, you could have a bad hairdresser or barber, right? I mean, it's not good, but your hair will grow back, right? But you have a bad police, he kills you, you're not getting your life back. And and so I think sometimes people don't realize how permanent death is, right? It, it is this is pretty much the only thing you cannot come back from. I mean, yeah, there are severe illnesses and, and things that people can get that they're on cures for at the moment, but there's still hope that, oh, there'd be a cure for this STD or this severe illness, and, and there's a lot of research for cancer and things of that nature, but you die. I mean, that's just a big hit on the community that person was in, their dreams, their family. You know, I mean, there's even the small things, like someone in George Floyd neighborhood could just see them every day, and, and that would bring them hope, and now that's gone. Right, and, and, and just death just divide communities and that's definitely not what the world needs right now, especially with the failing economy, unemployment rate rising all the time high. Um, we just need to come together and so that's why I mean, it points to support Brown. Oh, so. And also to support Nana Soul Food in Charlotte. That's where I got that. That's where I got this uh, uh, fried chicken, collard greens, cornbread, and macaroni and cheese but yeah on a positive note we're corked up like i said everyone's supporting change from all different races all different backgrounds social economic status and so that's what it's good to see that and a lot of people are saying promote black owned businesses to uh, bridge the social economic wealth gap um which is beautiful thing and a lot of people are posting stories and supporting initiatives, walking, protesting. So it's good to see that people are advocating for change. Um but yeah man. Some good mac and cheese yo. It's good. Um but yeah, back to the all lives matter like Like, Chris Rock was saying, or it was the other comedian, I forgot his name. But he was saying that, um, like, what if you were a husband 
and you walked home. You got you came home and your wife asked me, "Do you love me?" And then you and then you respond. You responded with, "I love everybody." Right? Or she and it's like, what? You probably get slapped, <laughs> or cussed out, or start a fight. And so it's not to say that we don't care about other people's lives. Um, I shouldn't even have to be explaining this. It, it's just. It's like the logic is 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 crazy to me. It's like if 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 Kaepernick kneels and he says he's not disrespecting the flag and he's doing it to raise awareness to injustice that is going on at the hands of police brutality in terms of interacting with blacks, and people still wouldn't refute that. It, it's it's just crazy to me that you just want to turn it to another thing and. The crazy thing is, is that I'm glad their their initiative to to uh, defund the police and and uh, you know policies being drafted to uh, delegate other workers to handle certain situations that aren't violent instead of the police, so the police aren't tempted to to uh, use a gun or we use uh, excessive force, um, but what was I saying? But uh, oh, I forgot. But um, man, I forgot what I was saying. But I'm glad there is initiatives to um, do that. But, um, yeah, I hope the changes come soon and they're sustainable. Um, I think, what was I saying? I'm glad there's changes coming. In a fund of police. Um, and maybe come back to me. But, um, yeah, man. Like, just... Oh, and, and, and one thing I also want to say is... Shout out to all my friends... That uh, reached out to me. That a few reached out. I just wanted to learn my perspective. Check on me. And let me know that... They're always there to... Uh, to listen to me if I ever want to talk. I appreciate that. And, you know, one of my friends reached out and just wanted to learn... My perspective growing up black, and I just told him, from a young age, I felt at times, or I, f I feel that, like, you can be seen as a target just based on your race, which is it's just so dumb, right? We, we have to look at people as individuals, right? And I was I was listening to a YouTube video of uh, psychologist Professor Jordan Peterson, and he was talking about how dangerous white privileges like yeah everyone has privileges you should use them to your advantage in a positive way right like if you go to harvard that's a privilege right if you're born to a millionaire billionaire that's a privilege right but this idea that you should see a person from that privileged group and then categorize them as and associate them with a negative act is very dangerous, right? Like if I see a white person, I can say all oh, their races, or even if they, if they have on camo, low cut boots, jeans, all that, I can't say all oh, their races, because that's the same as if I go into a grocery store at night to get some Tic Tacs and or a gas station, come up bumping my rap music, and. And I'm having on a hoodie. Someone say, oh, he's going to rob me. No, you don't know me. You don't know what I am, what I believe in. Or who, who I am, what I believe in. So we have to remember to not see a particular group or a person from a particular group as an enemy. Yeah, there's bad cops, but there's good cops as well. I just try not to interact with the police at all. I see when I, you know, I'll believe or say hey, or, but if, if they come in my proximity, but... You know, when I see the police kind of skip a beat, if I see a cop behind me, or even if I see a Crown Victoria, and it's not a police, kind of skip a beat, like, oh, gotta be on my toes. Um, but yeah, man, 
like because like I was saying sometimes growing up for example like my mom would always tell me we go in a grocery store or any store and if I would have my hands in my pocket she's like take your hands out of your pocket they might think you're stealing and there's just no way to live like I would always say no I'm gonna keep my hands in my pocket but I, I, mean, I would do it because you know I'm not gonna disobey my mom but it's just crazy to me that like someone would would associate me having my hands in my pocket with stealing as opposed to confronting me saying hey did you steal anything or they were suspective okay well pu pull out your pockets show me your pockets boom that's what you should do you shouldn't just say oh you're black you like touch something on the shelf then put your hand in your pocket and then assume that oh there's something in my pocket like ask me check out I'll, I'll show proof and so like things like that and like families say oh don't get dreads you're not going to get employed things like that you kind of start to think that like oh people are going to see me as a target and that's no way to live that's no way to grow up and that's why i'm hesitant to watch a lot of the uh injustice based videos like 13th and they see us and it, it's just I, I there's a lot of truth to that i mean it's truth but i probably watch watch them but it's just hard for me because I'm a very positive person. I don't want to walk through the world looking at white people or anyone who may may be of a may have a like white person, Republican, anyone that may view me as a threat and view just that individual as a as a as a threat. Right? I want to see that individual as an individual. I don't want to see a cop as someone that's going to kill me. Because uh, there's an individual there, there's a person uh, there. They have hobbies, they have jokes, they have beliefs, they have things they like to do, they have a family. And, and so I think, yes, we need to, we need to push for change, but also realize that this is a very, very, I think a very pivotal moment in socializing. I haven't even had the wine yet. Socializing, psychology. A lot of good. Let me see. Socializing, psychology, and um, yeah, I don't think it's good to to start us versus them. Like that is not good. Even I mean, it's just crazy. Like you go on Twitter, you see police. Knock some old man down and bleeding on the concrete. It's like I don't. It's just not good for your mental health to see that. I mean, it's good as getting exposed. And those cops, I uh, got consequences. But it's like, man, it's it's just so hard to stay positive sometimes when you're just constantly seeing negative. And so, um, negative things, but. Yeah, Zinfandel is supposed to have, um, blackberry, strawberry, peach, cinnamon, and sweet tobacco, aromatics. Maybe I should have tasted this before the food. Hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not really getting much. Definitely jammy fruit. The blackberry. Um, but yeah, man. Just trying to stay positive. Um, and so, you know. But it's hard to stay positive at times. 
But that's what I say, like, if you, I mean, people are trying to do things, like, continue to donate, um, continue to donate, um, advocate for change, support black businesses, um, and also just don't see a group that has, don't see a group that has an opposing view as the enemy or a person of a, a group that has an opposing view as the enemy. You get to know them as an individual. Um, because it's just, it's, I think it's just very dangerous to live life seeing someone and then assuming. A lot of social, I tweeted this about the lady in San Francisco. Actually, I want to move to San Francisco in the neighborhood she's in, Pacific Heights. That's where I want to live. Super beautiful area. Took child lessons in Pacific Heights last summer. Nice, gorgeous area. Oh my, it's so beautiful. Um, and she approached this guy who was painting Black Lives Matter. And, you know, just assumed that wasn't his place. I believe it, it was his, his, his place. And, and she got... Our Birch Box did business with her company. They cut ties. Her husband got fired. And it's like, people you just need to mind their business. Right? Like, stop trying to be the police and be the law. Like, just mind your business. It, it's just crazy. And I think he, he was painting Black Lives Matter. Then I saw a photo later on, on the San Francisco subreddit that people just, just like, put, you know, beautiful chalk art supporting the movement and and uh yeah so i just think this is a very teachable moment if anything 2020 is not for the weak the faint of heart we will come out of this stronger much more wider um but yeah probably probably my most serious episode not a lot of jokes didn't start off with the music but didn't wear the robe had to remember the robe um, but yeah, I'm trying to keep it a little light. Recommend you watch 846 by Dave Chappelle. Uh, I watched it on YouTube. I believe it's also on Netflix. Um, that's why I love comedy because it's just a nice balance of truth and humor. Just getting like all the facts and negative statistics and videos and, and comments. It's just really draining. I just, I had to like, I, I, I need to spend less time on my phone anyways and do more coding uh, and, and working out and, and, and extra extra hobbies, but I limited my social media on my phone to an hour and a half a day, so like, blocks it, and then if I want to go on, I have to enter my code and like, select a minute, 15 minutes or an hour, um, so sometimes I do it just to like, check the corked up Instagram or on snap if I just want to break but it's just like man like every time you just see something negative it just el elicits these emotions and so um I, I just try to not live life being in fear and like my after Ahmaud Arbery died my family was telling me to wear a sign saying that uh I'm uh that I'm just running and to me that's no way to live that that's just like signaling that I am a target. Oh, I'm I'm. I, so if I wasn't wearing a sign, that's signaling like, oh yeah, I'm a threat. I'm breaking into people's houses. I'm a thief, burglar. But since I'm wearing a sign, I'm safe. Never do that. I'd rather die than wear a sign saying I'm running. Just, but it's just crazy that you know they would tell me that because they love me. They they want me to be safe. But it's just wild times, man. Um, but even any 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 person that's not black, just try to understand their perspective, see where they're coming from. If it's something small, like I don't like the way you do this or respond to this, like be open, be open-minded. Uh, don't be closed off. Um, that's my two cents, man. Really, just I, I'm just you know just pop the court, sip some wine. It's kind of heavy on my heart now, but I 
a delicious one. Um, I'm finish this meal. But stay positive. The best is yet to come, as always say. This year has been rough, but we're tougher than, than anything that can come our way. Um, and so, it was a quote, something like, there's days when nothing happened, and or weeks when nothing happened, and some weeks feel like decade. This 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 year has felt like a century. Uh, and and so and on the on the bright side, we're kind of blessed to go through this because we'll be able to tell our kids we went through a pandemic. We we're a part of fighting social injustice, and and we got through it. And as they say, what uh, kills you doesn't make what doesn't kill you make you stronger. And um, I, I heard a quote last night in a video I was watching, guy had some scars and he was saying scars aren't, you know, meant to, uh, like you shouldn't be ashamed to show your scars because they show that you overcame what tried to kill you. And so that's what I really think we should think about this time, this year, is that, um, I mean, we still gotta get through it. <laughs> but we should just think that uh, it hasn't killed us, won't kill us, and that we'll get through it. And so with that being said, hope everyone's doing well. Cheers to the future. Cheers to better times. Um, support Brown or any other wineries that are black-owned. Um, post it as posted a post of uh, Instagram with all of well, a lot of the black owned wineries tagged on corked up with Kyle on Instagram. Um, but as always, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the love. Uh, have a nice glass of wine and uh, stay corked up. <laughs>